Well, tonight we've learned there is a chance the person behind the Texas explosions was captured on video. So video that authorities now have in their hands. We've not seen it yet, but today the I-team's Ginger Allen did sit down with a former ATF agent in charge who spelled out exactly who he thinks could be behind this Texas terror. She's in the Dallas newsroom. Ginger? The man you're about to meet spent more than 25 years as an ATF investigator. Just a few hours ago, he talked about the type of person or persons, yes, plural, he believes may be behind these serial bombings. Right, you start off with a really rough sketch, and as the days go on, it starts to get clearer and clearer. And you'll see, you'll see that person emerge. Hector Tarango says a clear picture of that sketch will emerge in the eyes of law enforcement by the end of the week. The former ATF agent in charge already has one of his own, a person in his or her 20s, educated and sending a message. And maybe I, I go to that because of the state of the, where we are in a country right now. You seem to hear a lot of that from, you know, to use the term millennials. There, there seem to be the loudest voices in, in this country right now saying uh, that things are broken. Tarango has studied maps of the bombings. He says the suspect likely lives in Austin, knows how to avoid surveillance cameras, and has a very familiar escape route. Because they were happening in that line off of Interstate 35, which to tells me that's the way they're getting in and out pretty quickly. He suspects a person with a military or law enforcement background who has a regular job now and very likely a partner in crime. So these happening so so quickly, I think he has uh, someone that's helping him, very much like the DC sniper case he had. There was two people. You had a lookout and then the guy shooting and vice versa. So I think he's probably working in tandem with someone else. There's even speculation running rampant on social media sites where one person identified himself and gave details of the attacks before having the account shut down. Tarango read the post. It'll be interesting to see what comes of that because he's very specific. Does this fit the profile that you've put together so far? Yes. The suspect or suspects are likely watching media reports and purposely changing their modes and methods. They're showing their, their evil genius by doing it that way and by doing it in, in different ignition uh, methods. And he's getting away from law enforcement. And he's, hitting, he's hitting these communities where they're not expecting it. So this is not random acts. This is a method of his madness. Absolutely. We always we seem to always catch the not so smart ones. Uh, this guy seems to be a little bit smarter. And smart enough to know that if all of law enforcement is now focused on the heart of Texas down south, the next potential attack could be further north. He said possibly Dallas. Something that occurred to him personally, he told us, when he was mailing a package and saw a FedEx truck this morning. Live in Dallas, I'm Ginger Allen, CBS 11 News. Ginger.